So again, in case this is the first thing you see with my recording, what I like so far is that it has that small unit tactics. It's not a large amount of terrain you're covering. In the first mission, it's just two little houses and then the basement. But it feels like a Call of Duty type game in an isometric perspective. And it has some of the realism of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And I say that if you use Ghost Recon Breakpoint by jacking up all the realism options. For example, rifles take some time to aim and you have suppressors and different audio levels and all that. And yeah, it's really cool, your video on as a map. So I'm really liking this. And I like that old 90s VCR font. So this is my character. Now we should really add some type of camera mode that's closer to the player, like f five meters above him, because that is really getting in the way. I need to arrest the guy probably in alive. Yeah, what's the arrest thing again? Just let me check the con the uh, keybinds. Interact, take cover, melee, issue command. Toggle fire mode, reload, night vision. Now where's that the rest toggle? It's probably the F key, I would guess. But the game is nice detail, it runs well. I have some anti-aliasing and shadow settings slightly lower than it runs well like this. And I got a 1060 card. You know, I think the thermal mode is a bit of a cheat because it's like a wall hack. Oh, those are a lot of guys. And they're playing realism, so if, if you get jumped by one or two guys and they start shooting, you're basically dead in, a, in one or two seconds. As it should be. There. Oh, wait, what you can do here? Oh, we can use the buttons for that thing. Oh, that's really cool. I did some really nice stuff. And even call the dot, dot in the center, the SP, like in the flight simulator. If you play DCS, you probably know what this SPI or the SP is. Okay, I need to rest some dudes, and he's like covered by 30 guys. Okay, let's see how far I can get on this one. Ooh, it's going to be fun. And we turn off the map. Oh, how well does night vision actually... I mean, does it actually help me here? Uh, is there any tactical advantage for the enemy? You see here the... Um, how visible I am. So I'm not sure how well the enemy can see me on that. Now when I start the shootout, I need to find the retreat point. If you want to control the camera, you can either use those keys, or you can... The way it works, you middle mouse somewhere, like there, and then it basically aligns the camera from your character to the point you clicked. Next I'm getting used to, but it's intuitive. Wait, what I just said make no sense. It takes getting used to it so you observe that, that. Yeah, I'm saying stupid things. I think what I like about this game is you have this moment before the combat starts, you can, you can consider your tactics. And then everything goes to hell really quickly. Okay, so I got a 1911 and an MP5. I really like the side pictures here as you move it around. And as you right mouse, you can see the side picture forming. I'm going to fire one shot just to see if anybody here has used that. But it's really cool. If you click once, it goes into hip fire mode and goes down again. Okay, this is really cool. They have these authentic um, Soviet wall pieces that I think are a staple in all games and stalker in some type of Soviet <clears throat> or Eastern European setting. Although I think not all Eastern European settings have that in real life. Oh, okay, let's see what I can do here. Switching full auto. That was not elegant. 
I didn't pick the best body armor and the huge backpack. I like to rest down a bit. The cool thing in this game is you, you can just select stuff. Oh, an SK, oh, the SKS in this game. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited because they don't just have the, the cool famous guns. They also have an SKS, which is not like the most famous thing. Ah, uh, see, see, no, but... Oh, shit. Okay, let's do this again. Yeah, super hard like this, that's how I like those games. Christians, can I get on this car? Oh, I do can get on this car. Can I get up on that thing? Probably not. I like the way they run with the gun pointing up. What I do not like is you go to the walk toggle. You walk, but the moment you do something and it's out of the walk toggle mode. There should be a walk toggle where you walk and still operate your weapons and keep walking after you stop operating. Now what I really do like here about the animation system is how softly the animation works, the way the character aligns the gun. The Pistol goes a bit faster, see? Dup, dup. And how he does the pistol retention thing where he pushes it back into the chest. Looks a lot more tactical than in other games. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. I think I gotta walk on the rock, drag also a bit. I'm visible because it's the moonlight, I think. Is it? Is it that? Yeah, they calculate for the moonlight. That's actually really cool. Oh shit, and I'm reloading right now. Okay, even 9mm is like pretty deadly in this game. Yeah, I really wish that, that the walk mode would, would exist for normal combat. I like how the projectile speeds feel realistic. They're not um, artificially slowed down because it's close combat. I don't know if the 45 goes through that. Our characters are a bit stupid from the eye. They feel a bit fluid the way they drop and think that they um, they should use more cover. This is what I don't like. I don't want to run like that. I want to walk sometimes. But also be able to operate the gun and keep walking without that walk toggle having to toggle it on again. Okay, let's see. No, I'm not trading it for the Winchester right now. Mm, nice, powerful SKS. Be advised, Thunder One. Enemy technical spotted heading for the AO. Juice out. Come on, guys! Don't don't end the mission. Stay here. Is the mission always you just leave? Ah, oh, come on, guys! Oh, you 
Okay, let's just try it one more. I guess those missions are built for four man squads, but just don't like playing with the AI. The controls feel solid so far. It's just that walking thing is annoying me. The entire building is full of them, so that's bad. <laughs> I think the eyes are a bit too fluid and they run around too much. They, they should be a bit slower. If they're running like zombies. They should be slower and, and walk around in buildings and all that. At least I stopped that one.
Yeah, I'm right next to you. I got two magazines that are almost empty. Now, combat feels a bit too. It's over too soon because the enemy doesn't really use cover. I think that's a bit of a problem here. But it will also fight. Feels like a solid game for 20 bucks. Should use a car ninety eight. I'm sure why not. Yeah, the the voice actor sound like Spanish. Vampire impersonators mixed with some Russian. It's highly comedic and I think it's a bit overdone. Okay, I need to get this guy, get through those guys. It's a bit cheaty that you have that thing. Yeah, I'll go around the house, go through here. I do like the animation blending. So if you're standing here like this and characters turning, there's a certain slowness to it, which I think is realistic. I like how smooth it is the way they align the weapon to, to shoot. Also, that peak around the corner thing is really stupid, like the entire body is exposed. They should just lean around it, just the gun peeking out. If it's tactical. 1911 abandoned house. Yeah, well, nitrous gold feel kind of pointless. What I could do is go for the second floor and shoot him from above. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in this video, I like how the does the weapon retention thing. Oh, he's pull, pushing it back, back against the um, chest. Mm -hmm. They're really good at returning fire, that's good. Like they force you into cover. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I can't see how... How does this window work? So, you know, that's where the camera angles get in your way a lot. Why are they looking for me now? Oh, yeah, they're in the house. Oh, shit. And I just had to pick the 7 round 1911 and the car 98. It was really stupid. Oh, what the hell? Where did that come? Oh. It, this is Zeus. Be advised, we have lost contact with Thunder One. I repeat, we have lost contact with Thunder One. A okay. Operation. Out. This is going to be my first impression video. I think I'll end the recording here. And I hope this was entertaining to watch.